In Peoria was on fire this afternoon. It happened around 4.30 p.m. near the Old Orchard Terrace excuse me, Old Orchard Trace Apartments off of North Imperial Drive. According to the Peoria Fire Battalion Chief Scott Strum, there was a fire in the attic of that two-story apartment complex. The residents did get out. No injuries were reported, but Strum says that there is heavy damage to the first and second floors. Strum says that 24 firefighters were on scene and they are still investigating the cause of that fire. We're still working to learn how many people have been displaced. in his car, baby. What's going on, family? Welcome back to the channel. So, we are back with another video. I know I haven't seen you guys in some time. We had a unfortunate series of events happen on um, Friday. So, as you guys can see, you know, with the, with the boarded up windows, boarded up doors, um, our my apartment building caught on fire on Friday as you can see in the news line now I was going to record the fire um, but I wasn't sure if anyone was hurt and I personally feel when people record when people are hurt is uh, not morally right you know I'm not that type of person that I'm going to bring out my camera when, when, when some harm is being done I decided to make the video a few days later okay so in this video what we're going to do is just go over um, kind of you know what the area looks like now um after the you know fire occurred and you know it's crazy because i've been thinking about getting a house lately um and i just keep having reasons come up over and over and over as to why i should buy a house and this kind of solidified it just the, you know the fact that the um apartment caught on fire now what i hear is that uh one of the fans in the bathroom okay you know, you have your fan in the bathroom that you can turn on along with your lights. That fan um, stopped spinning, but the motor was still on. And so that caused the fire to occur. Now, the reason why I'm coming to you guys about this is um, I have been really thinking about getting a house lately. And I want to know if you guys would want to see that. Would you want to see the house shopping? Um, and it's not going to be right now. It'd be in a few months. But would you guys want to see me going to look at different houses and, 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 and selecting what house to go with you guys let me know um i don't want to start putting that stuff on, up there and you guys don't care about it and you guys think that it's not car content so you you know you, you don't prefer it right um if you if you want to see something like that let me know in the comments below if you don't want to see it then that's fine too just let me know in the comments below don't be rude but just say you know just continue with the car content all right so with that being said um we're going to go ahead and show you guys just some of the uh damage i can't get in there of course so as you guys can see you know you got this door here it's boarded up you got the window boarded up. This is where the uh, fire occurred in uh, this apartment here. As you guys can see in that news video, there are probably about three firemen here in this driveway. There was three on the uh, street there, two or three on the street. There was an ambulance and there was uh, cops everywhere. So it was a pretty significant fire. Um, as a matter of fact, I did end up having someone come get me. And as I, as we drove around the block, um, in order to try to get my car because my car was in the midst of it all it was sitting here in the midst of trying to get my car out um, We kind of came up this street here and you can see just the water was spraying from here all the way through um, Or they were spraying down from the top. I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from But it was like a waterfall coming through the other end So this is where you could see just a waterfall coming from the from the other side. So um, it's unfortunate that the people on this side of the building uh, the fire occurred on that side but the people on this side of the building they experience water damage to no end right i mean you guys can see all of the ice right look at the even the street you can see how much salt they had to put down because there was just so much water everywhere and look this is all ice going up here so it was a pretty significant fire um, again you can see salt here now if you go down the further down the street you know it, it's not white with salt it's just you know regular pavement this was all flooded with just ice, you know, water that turns to ice. All right, so what we're gonna do now is that we'll go inside and uh, I'll just show you guys some of the boarded up areas. So there is two floors and then underground is a garage. That's where you guys sometimes see me record. Um, it's unfortunate, but the apartments that are down here um, experienced a lot of water damage. So 
they were fine the fire was there uh this side got messed these two got messed up with uh water damage and the water damage was so severe that it's dripping down to the basement all right with, with concrete uh like a concrete top all right family so as you guys can see i mean it's gonna be dark but you know this here is shut with uh wood and you can see on the outside here it's wooded up as well okay so they put the wood on the other side of the door downstairs uh upstairs excuse me all right so i want you guys just to see how bad this fire was how much water it took to put out this fire um this is my underground garage okay the fire took place on the second floor so the second floor of course the first floor has to be absolutely drowned if you can see the, the water just coming through the ceiling here the concrete ceiling on the uh on the garage through the first floor so um again it was a uh, very heavy fire it was bad um i think it's just a sign it's time for me to go all right, family, so I'm going to give you guys just a quick rundown of what my point of view is. I was sitting on my couch doing some work. Um, I had the TV on and I thought I heard something. So I put the TV on mute and I was like, oh, I do hear something. It's the fire alarm. Now, our fire alarms have gone off before. Um, they've come in. They've said, like, you know, something triggered it, but we don't know what it is. So, you know, but everybody has to get out or, you know, it's just, it, it just been nothing. Right. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, never minded it, whatever, sat here. And then something said, get up and go look, right? So I get up and I decide to go, now excuse my mess here. I decide to walk to my door, okay? Go to the door, I open up the door and I look out. So I look at my neighbor here in this other apartment and she opens her door at the same time. She looks at me, she says, what's going on? And I was like, I don't know, you just see me open the door too, how would I know? I step out a bit further and I look down the hallway. Now that door is closed, but when I looked down the hallway, I could see smoke. So I looked back at her and we looked, kind of looked at each other and we were just like, oh shoot, you know, this is for real. And we looked back down the hallway and there's a guy down there. He's like, hey, the apartment's on fire. And we kind of looked at each other again and he was like, no, for real, like this is a like a big fire. So I come back into my apartment, um, you know, I'm like, okay, let me put on some clothes and, and get out of here. Now, I seen smoke, but it wasn't a lot of smoke. I decided to go put on some clothes and I was so relaxed to the point where I put on some clothes and I have, I have like these house hoodies and house, house clothes that I wear and I had, and, and a pair of them are sweatpants, right? I had those sweatpants on ready to go outside and I legit was like, oh, these are the wrong clothes. Let me put on some other clothes. And I'm in here like, what should I take out? Like I'm really taking my time. Then once I got outside, it was just like smoke everywhere so sitting on the inside looking down the hallway it was no big deal but once you go outside it was so justifiable as to how there were so many fire trucks around and and the fact that there were so many fire trucks and i had no idea so that's the just just of the story family um you guys let me know if you would like to see uh you know the journey of buying a house buying my first house uh if not i'm gonna never mind it i'm not gonna put it on the channel but if you guys want to see it i'm gonna go ahead and put that on your channel and that way you guys can just be another part of me like as i always say we're family and if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be where i am in terms of youtube so we're going to keep pushing it and we're going to get even bigger we're going to increase the size of the family and uh just kind of go from there all right i appreciate you guys watching the video let me know if you want to see the uh house journey or not um and yeah as always hit the subscribe button like the video share the video i appreciate you guys i'll catch you next time